Okay, so I'm going to try and do something useful here, like a PSA almost, and that is uh, because we're kind of coming up to the whole... Okay, I know we haven't gotten past Halloween yet, but we are coming up to Thanksgiving, we are coming up to Christmas then. Yeah, wonderful. And you're probably wondering, what GoPro should you buy? Or, you know, if you have a kid, what GoPro should you buy for them? I mean, it's a really kind of a loaded question, and I'm going to give you my truthful opinion about which GoPro model you should buy between the Hero 9, the Hero 10, and the Hero 11. And this isn't going to be a popular video with some people, trust me, because one of these cameras you shouldn't touch with a 10-foot barge pole, trust me. And this is going to be my honest opinion about which of these cameras is the best and which camera is definitely the worst. So, sit back, relax, enjoy the video. This is Demon View. Hi there, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you tuning in. And this is going to be an important video because in this one, I'm going to be recommending which camera you should buy between the Hero 9, Hero 10, and Hero 11. This is going to be pretty important considering that we're coming up to not only uh, Thanksgiving with the, uh, you know, the Black Friday sales and the Cyber Monday sales, but also for Christmas. After all, you want to make sure that you choose the uh, correct camera, that it performs the way that you want, and that you're not going to have issues for it. In which case, there's definitely a camera here I would recommend, and a camera here that I definitely wouldn't recommend. So, if you like these videos, if you find them useful, please remember to click the like and subscribe buttons as it really does help out with channel views and it also puts money in my pocket so I don't have an unhappy starving Christmas in the cold. Please, click those like and subscribe buttons. Pretty please? Anyway, on with the video. So I've owned GoPro since the Hero 2. I've actually owned three GoPro Hero 4s, two GoPro Hero 6s, two GoPro Hero 8s, two GoPro Fusions, the Hero 9, 10, and 11. So I've had quite a number of years experience with these cameras and yeah, there are some cameras that are better than others. So we're gonna take a look at the Hero 9, Hero 10, and Hero 11 and the differences between them to see if we can get a recommendation for you. Now, you may be wondering why I'm not talking about the GoPro Hero Max or the GoPro Hero 8 in this video. Well, it's simply because the GoPro Hero 8 is no longer on sale at GoPro.com. And on top of that, there was a few reasons why you shouldn't buy the GoPro Hero 8. Um, don't get me wrong, it was a fantastic camera. It really is a top performer, and I still use my GoPro Hero 8s even today. And one of the reasons that, you know, you kind of should avoid that camera now is that because it's out of stock at GoPro, there's certain accessories and stuff that you can no longer buy for the GoPro Hero 8. Um, if you don't know this, the GoPro Hero 8 had a non-removable front lens, and that means that if you smash or crack this lens, you would have to replace pretty much the whole camera as there was nothing you could do with it. Another thing about the GoPro Hero 8 is the side battery door, and it would pop off very easily. Now, the battery door was nice and waterproof, but you can't get replacements for it. I've searched low and high for those things, and the closest I could come was uh, a, a door on Amazon that actually had a hole for a USB cable. That might be handy for, you know, using external power supplies, but for keeping your camera watertight, it's essentially useless. So the only way to keep your GoPro Hero 8 now watertight, it will be to use one of those side doors with the USB hole in it, and then put the whole camera in a protective waterproof case so i don't really recommend that you actually go buy anything you know prior to the hero 9 here It'd be simply because trying to get replacement parts for it spare parts or even batteries for it might prove difficult there are a lot of third-party vendors out there but uh, they might not be able to get you the parts that you want so i'm not gonna you know recommend the hero 8 or anything earlier than that i'm also not going to recommend the hero max as it's a 360 camera that's kind of like for a specialized shooting and once you reframe a 360 image, even though it's a 5.6K resolution on the Hero Max, once you reframe that, you basically get like a 1080p video from it, which isn't fantastic resolution. So I'm only going to concentrate on GoPro cameras that are currently on sale on the GoPro website, and it's going to be between the Hero 9, the Hero 10, and the Hero 11. So let's take a look at some of the differences with these cameras. We'll start with the Hero 9. The Hero 9 basically has a GP1 processor and it records at a maximum of 5K 30 frames per second. But other than that, it looks pretty much the same as the Hero 10, the 11, and it also uses the same accessories and the same batteries. 
The Hero 10, on the other hand, records at a maximum of 5.3K 60 frames per second, and that has a GP2 processor in it. So, I mean, that's just an immediate advantage over the Hero 9. Little boost in quality, but with a newer, faster processor. And then we have the Hero 11, same size, same batteries as the 9 and 10. This also has the GP2 processor in it, and it also records in 5.3K 60 frames per second, just like the Hero 10 does. However, this does have a slightly taller sensor in it so that you can reframe your shots without losing resolution. So before with the Hero 10 or the 9, if you wanted to record a portrait video for uh, TikTok or Instagram, you want to do a portrait, you'd have to turn the camera on its side. And then that's basically how you would record video and maintain that full resolution. Whereas the Hero 11, because it has a taller sensor, you can actually still have the camera like this. There's no need to turn it on its side. You can still have it like this and then just reframe it and you still get that high resolution video. So that's a bit of an advantage for the Hero 11. It also has some additional night presets such as star trails, uh, tail lights and gosh, well, oh yeah, light painting. So if you are into night photography or you like to experiment with night photography, the Hero 11 is a bit of a distinct advantage over the Hero 10. So to cut to the real meat and bones of this, um, one of my favorite cameras that GoPro have ever made, you know, and this is dealing with all the models that I've ever dealt with, uh, it's the GoPro Hero 10. Um, this is a fantastic camera. It's been absolutely rock solid for me, and I've never had a reliability issue with it at all whatsoever. Now, don't get me wrong, the Hero 11 is a worthy upgrade. I mean, it's $50 more, but it does have that taller sensor, and it does have a few extra shooting modes that I like. So you're probably wondering why I don't actually recommend it over the Hero 10, and that's simply because I've used the Hero 10 longer, whereas the Hero 11 is a bit newer and it still has to kind of like go through a few more months of testing before it kind of takes over the crown on this one. However, I can truthfully say I find myself using the Hero 11 more than I use the Hero 10, so it's, it's pretty close. There's about a $50 difference price-wise between the two of these, so it's a case of if you can do without all the kind of features that are featured in this GoPro Hero 11, you could buy the Hero 10, save yourself 50 bucks, and use that 50 bucks to buy a few more accessories or a larger SD card. However, if you want the latest and greatest camera with all the functions and everything, go for the Hero 11. Um, this has also been a rock solid performer for me, and I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. However, this is kind of where things get a little bit sad and dark. You see, there is a GoPro I don't recommend you buy, and that unfortunately is the GoPro Hero 9. This camera has a myriad of issues, and it's been very unreliable for me. So, uh, how to get into this? Do you remember a thing called COVID, and we were experiencing lockdowns, and, you know, told to work from home, and suddenly you're all struggling to find out how exactly do we work from home, how do we set up our home offices, and where the hell do I get a webcam? Well, unfortunately, the GoPro Hero 9 was released during that period just as those lockdowns were beginning and people were sick and in hospital and couldn't actually figure out how to work from home. And that really did affect the design and quality of this camera. Um, it was pretty much designed, built, tested, programmed during those lockdowns. And as a result, this camera was delayed upon release. It actually missed its release date. And when it was released, it just didn't work properly. Uh, it wasn't even capable of recording GPS when it was first released, and the black back screen here was absolutely terrible. You press it and press it, and it wouldn't do anything at all whatsoever. <sighs> yeah, it was just a bad camera upon release, and subsequently things didn't get any better. It seemed like every month there was another firmware update, followed by another firmware update, just to fix issues with this camera. And this camera still has issues. And we're going to get into that now in this video and why you shouldn't buy this camera. Okay, so I've just enabled quick capture on this. I'm holding the camera in my hand and I'm recording this video here. So as you can see, it's recording in 4K, 30 frames per second. And that's with linear horizon. Yay. And horizon leveling, of course. But um, yeah, there's, there's going to be some issues here. And I'm just going to do a quick 30 second camera test so you can actually see the issues that we're dealing with. What you may have noticed was that clicking sound in certain parts of the audio of the video, and that is problem number one with the GoPro Hero 9. It's got that audio clicking and terrible audio on it, basically, and this was a problem with the Hero 9 when it was first released, 
but GoPro released subsequent firmware updates that did nothing to address the problem. I highly suspect this is an actual hardware problem with the camera and you know, hundreds and hundreds of users have actually reported this problem with the camera. GoPro solution, and this is officially from GoPro, leave the camera on for two minutes to warm up before you start recording. Now, does that feel like an ideal solution to you? Absolutely not. There is an audio problem with this camera and it's a bad one. Now, you can actually bypass those audio click issues by attaching a media mod or an external microphone and that seems to solve that issue. But if you wanna record audio with a camera just like this, Unfortunately, you run the risk of getting those audio clicks that you're hearing, and it's just not a good thing. Okay, so next issue. I'm just going to do a quick recording test on uh, the Hero 9 and the Hero 10. The Hero 9 is set up for 5K, 30 frames per second linear. The Hero 10 is set up for 5K, 30 frames per second linear. As you can see, they're both turned on. I'm going to start recording them now. Uh, there we go, got our fingers out of the shot. And... This isn't about stability or anything like that. I'm just going to demonstrate something for you very quickly because this is one of my major gripes about the Hero 9. So I'm just going to stop that recording like so. And what we're going to do is just going to leave the cameras on and we're going to open up GoPro Quick. So this is GoPro Quick for the Android phone. And I just have this running through um, Samsung DeX. So here we go. GoPro Hero 10, camera found, view media. We're going to connect to the camera here now and download a file. Now it does take a few seconds for this to connect and you know I've never actually tried to connect this while it's hooked up to Samsung DeX so hopefully it works. There we go. These are the files that are on there and we're just going to select this file. Now the picture may look kind of bad and low resolution and that's because when you're viewing through the app you actually are looking at a low resolution file. You're not looking at the full quality file. But we're just going to download that clip like so. And as you can see, it was actually pretty quick to download there. It was only a few seconds, but it was actually pretty quick to connect to the camera itself. And that's kind of one of the bugs that I really don't like about the Hero 9, and that's the Bluetooth connectivity. It's just not great. Okay, that's downloaded. Going to go back out of that. Back out of that. And there we go. Now we're going to go to the GoPro Hero 9. There's the GoPro Hero 9 camera fan. Let's go and connect to View Media. And this is where the waiting game begins because it takes a hell of a long time for this to connect. I mean, as you can see, we're waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. There we go. We finally connected. And as you can see, now we have to wait for these thumbnails to populate. And this is just because of the slowness of the camera itself. It seems to take a while for this to populate. We're going to try and speed things up here because I'm going to just pull down here to refresh the gallery. And there we go. Now, as you can see, it's got these uh, little exclamation marks on it. And that's because it was recorded at full resolution. And the GoPro Hero 9, because it's using an older processor, it won't play back the file. Like with the other files, you can play it back directly on the camera or on the phone that's on the Hero 10. But the Hero 9, playback not supported, you have to download the file. Okay, let's download the file. So, going pretty quickly because it's such a small file. And there we go. Okay, so let's go back here. Go out of this completely, and we'll take a look at the media we've downloaded. So just scroll here. So let's see what we have. So this is on the GoPro Hero 10, and it looks really kind of bad here, but don't forget, this is actually playing through an emulator, so this is not what the footage looks like. I'll actually pretty much put the whole footage up there. You're just watching a screen capture. Now I'll go to the one from the GoPro Hero 9. And this is where the problems begin. I've just downloaded this file from the Hero 9 and it won't play back. So as you can see, it isn't capable of playing back that GoPro Hero 9 file. In fact, here's the thing. If you record with this GoPro, you're going to have to take the SD card out every single time, put it in the uh, PC to actually get your file off the camera. And um, that's still spinning around and still not capable of playing. 
So as you can see, this is just not working and that's pretty bad. So I'm going to show you what I usually have to do to get this uh, GoPro Hero 9 to perform properly. I usually have to connect to the GoPro Hero 9, go back into View Media, wait for it to connect. And I might be waiting quite a while. I might put in some more trivia here for you. And we're still connecting. There we go. So what I usually do to download a file, if I wanted something downloaded, I would actually have to go and trim the file. I would actually have to do this and then just take about a second or so off the end of the file, like so, and then go to download it. So if I save this now, it's going to go and save it to my GoPro app. And as you can see, it's taken a while. I mean, it's not a huge waste but of time, but it's more awkward than I would like to have to deal with. So now if I click on the file, I can actually play back that file. It's not a problem and it's working. So is that a workaround for every file? Well, no, it's not because unfortunately, with the GoPro Hero 9, like I said, it won't play back those full resolution, full frame rate files. So in this case, the one I was able to trim was actually a 4K 30 frame per second file. I could trim a second off the end and therefore I could download it to my phone. However, with a file that's recorded in 5K 30 frames per second, the issue is I can't actually do that because it won't allow me to play back or edit the file on the camera. I have to download the entire file. And if I download the entire file without trimming that one second off the end of it, unfortunately, I just can't play back the file then because I just get this spinning wheel of death. And unfortunately, that's not the only problem with GoPro Hero 9. One of the other issues I've had with this GoPro Hero 9 is the connectivity and reliability. Um, as you know, I do a lot of aviation videos and I usually, well, I used to have a GoPro Hero 10 mounted on one wing and the GoPro Hero 9 mounted on the other wing. Problem is, I would be using my app to control the cameras and I would start and stop recording. And next thing, I would have an issue where, you know, it would say, can't detect your camera. So it's like the camera would shut down and it would actually disable all the Bluetooth connections and everything. Uh, just You just couldn't detect or connect to this camera. Now, the issue here, which is kind of interesting, is that the camera would still be recording. It would be powered on, it would still be recording, the light flashing away, but for some reason the app just wouldn't communicate with the camera at all. Neither would the GoPro remote. So that's just not ideal. I mean, to have a camera that you can't really depend on your Bluetooth connectivity to control it, that is just terrible. And unfortunately, it just seems to be regulated to the Hero 9. The Hero 10 and the Hero 11, I haven't had such an issue with. I mean, that's what I'm kind of using as my two wing cameras now. And I'm using this more for a cockpit video because it's right there. I can press the buttons. But, you know, these are just like some of the issues I've had with the Hero 9. Besides the connectivity and the other issue then with the uh, audio cackling. No, I'm sorry, this is just not a reliable camera to buy. Now, you may be thinking, okay, you have a defective camera, Ian, um, so re return it and replace it. Unfortunately, this actually is the replacement camera. I had the exact same problems with my previous Hero 9, and one of the things that prompted me to return my Hero 9 is the, uh, the USB port. The USB port on this one day decided to stop working. I mean, first of all, it kind of went bad where you'd plug in the camera, Auto upload would kind of start and then you'd have an error. Plug out the USB cable, flip it upside down, plug it in again, and hey, auto upload would work fine, absolutely no problem. So there was obviously a pin problem on the USB C port here. But then I had another issue where I was connecting it to the uh, media mod, and I didn't realize it at the time, but the uh, media mod would not be detected by the Hero 9. And if you watch my video for the uh, GoPro Enduro battery, the video audio sounds terrible on that. And that's because it was connected to a media mod. I was wearing a wireless mic, but the media mod wasn't detected because of the bad USB-C port. So finally, um, I was doing a time lapse on this powered externally, and I went to unplug it and I nearly burnt myself off that USB-C port. It was 
melted. The smell of burning plastic off was terrible. And that's because it seems that the GoPro Hero 9 USB-C port was made of industrial grade butter. It had melted and I'm lucky kind of where this was mounted that it didn't catch on fire. So like I said, this is the replacement Hero 9 and I've been using that, but I still have the same issues with it. Luckily, I don't use this as much with the uh, media mod, so hopefully there's going to be no damage to that USB-C port on this. So honestly, this is a bad GoPro. I wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot barge pole. Now, uh, there are some good things about it. I'm not going to completely trash it, although the things I did trash about it are pretty big issues. So let's go on to what's good about this. First of all, image quality. If um, I'll do a quick comparison of the image quality here in low light. Now, GoPros aren't great for low light, especially when you're using hyper smooth, you do get blurring and jiggling and stuff. But uh, if I just do a video here, I can show you the GoPro Hero 9, the GoPro Hero 10, and the GoPro Hero 11 doing a low light video, and they really do look similar. Now, the 11 is always gonna look better because it's got that 10-bit color, but uh, it's pretty comparable. I mean, you do have to look hard in certain situations to actually see those differences, but, you know, capture-wise, the image quality is still very good off the Hero 9, and it's a definite upgrade off previous models. Then we have the battery life. The battery life on the Hero 9 is actually fantastic. I mean, even without using the Enduro battery, using a standard battery in this and an Enduro battery in this, this actually performs really well for battery life. I mean, I've recorded up to an hour 47 on this thing, and I think that's pretty cool for a 4K video at 30 frames per second. So if you want long battery life, I highly suspect since it's using the older processor, it's less power hungry, and therefore it gives you much better power uh, battery life than the other newer models that use an upgraded uh, chip, which is a bit more power hungry. However, for me, decent picture and decent battery life doesn't matter a damn thing if it's not reliable at all. And unfortunately, with the connectivity issues and being able unable to download video clips and watch them and edit them, that just puts the Hero 9 in the wastebasket for me. I mean, if I was recording with this and I had to submit a clip suddenly to a news company and I wanted to edit it quickly on my mobile app and send it to them by putting it in like a Dropbox or something, I can't do that with the Hero 9. I just cannot depend on the Hero 9 to be able to do that. But with the Hero 10 and the 11, not a problem. And that's why I mainly use those two cameras. So, you know, that kind of sums up some of the issues I've had with this Hero 9. Like I said, I do like GoPro as a company, but this, this is just a bad camera. So it does not earn my recommendation as a buy. That's my opinion. That's my experiences with it. So if you're gonna buy something, Make it the Hero 10 or the Hero 11. I think you'll be perfectly happy with those. So I hope you found that educational without being too rambling. And hopefully I can get back and make another video for you later. So until then, thank you for watching. Remember to click those like and subscribe buttons. Remember, I'm doing all this so you don't have to waste your money or time doing all this research. And basically you click and like and subscribe it helps out with those channel views and also helps earn me a bit of cash in the meantime. So thanks very much for watching. I appreciate you and say cheerio. I've just finished recording uh, this video and now I know the editing task ahead of me and it's just like, boom. Wow. Yeah, this is what I do for you guys. It's going to take me hours.